Today's topic is subbase of filters. Now, the first theorem states that let X be a non-empty set and let A be a non-empty family of subsets of X. Then there exists a filter on X containing A if and only if A has the finite intersection property. Let us prove this theorem. Let A have the finite intersection property. Then we have to prove that there exists a filter on X containing A. Let B be the collection of all those subsets of X which are obtained by taking intersection of finite number of members of A. That is, B is equal to the set containing subsets B where B is the intersection of a finite subfamily of A. As A has the finite intersection property, so no member of B is empty. And clearly, A is contained in B. Why? Because if subfamily contains uh, a single member of A, then that member will be in B. And so, each member of A is contained in B, that is, A is contained in B. Now, let F be the collection of uh, all those sets which contain a member of B. That is, F contains all supersets of members of B. And so, we can say that B is also contained in F. Why? Because every member of B is a superset of itself and so each member of B is contained in F and so the collection B is contained in F. And so A is contained in F also because A is contained in B and B is contained in F and so A is contained in F. Thus, F is a non-empty family of subsets of X containing A. And it remains to show that F is a filter on X. Now we show that F satisfies all the properties to be a filter on X. So we check the first property. As every member of F contains some member of B, by definition of F, F contains all supersets of members of B. That is, every member of F contains a member of B. And since no member of B is empty, and so phi doesn't belong to F. Now we check the second property that F belongs to F and F is contained in H. By definition of F, since F belongs to F, so by definition of F, F contains a member of B and since F is contained in H and so that member of B is also contained in H. So F contains a member of B and so by definition of F, H belongs to F. Now we check the third property. Let F belongs to F and H belongs to F. So by definition of F, there exists two members B and C of B such that B is contained in F and C is contained in H. As uh, B and C are members of uh, B and by definition of B, uh, B and C are finite intersections of members of A. So B intersection C is a finite intersection of members of A. And so B intersection C belongs to B. As B is contained in F and C is contained in H, so B intersection C is contained in F intersection H. As F intersection H contains a member B intersection C of B, so F intersection H belongs to F. So we have shown that intersection of any two members of F is also in F. So all the properties of a filter are satisfied by F and so F is a filter on X. Hence, there exists a filter F containing A. Conversely, let F be a filter on X containing A 
where A is a non-empty family of subsets of X. Then we have to prove that A has the finite intersection property. As F is a filter on X containing A, so F contains finite intersections of members of A also. As F is a filter, no member of F is empty and so finite intersections of members of F is non-empty. Uh, and since A is contained in F, so finite intersections of members of A is also non-empty. Hence, A has the finite intersection property. Now, we have a remark. The filter F obtained in the above theorem is the coarsest filter which contains a why suppose if f dash is any filter on x containing a then by definition of a filter f dash must contain all finite intersections of members of a and their supersets and so f is contained in f dash that means F is contained in every filter on X which contains A. So, F is the smallest filter on X containing A. That means F is the coarsest filter which contains A. Now, we have a definition. Let X be a non-empty set and let A be a non-empty family of subsets of X with finite intersection property. If F is the coarsest filter containing A, then A is said to be a sub-base of filter F and F is said to be generated by A. So, in the above theorem, we note that filter F um, is uh, generated by the collection A and A is the sub-base of F. Now, we shall discuss an example. Let X is a set consist of four elements A, B, C and D. And A, B a collection of subsets of X containing doubleton A, B and doubleton B, D. Then clearly A has the finite intersection property. Then the finite intersections of members of A is given by the collection B containing singleton B, doubleton containing A and B, doubleton containing B and D and the whole set X. Whole set X is obtained by taking intersection of empty family of members of A. And if we take supersets of all members of B, then we get the collection F given by singleton B, doubleton containing A and B, doubleton containing B and C, doubleton containing B and D, and set containing A, B, C, set containing A, B and D, a set containing B, C and D, and capital X, whole set X. So, uh, we find that this is f is a filter on x and by its construction it is clear that f is the coarsest filter containing a by previous theorem we can observe that this is the uh, coarsest filter containing a why because what we did there uh, we did the same here what we did we have taken finite intersections of members of a and then we take supersets of members of collection B. And so this is the courses filter containing A. Hence, A is a sub-base of filter F. We note that a sub-base of a filter need not be unique as the following collections also uh, sub-bases of filter F. Suppose if we uh, take collection A1 containing singleton B, doubleton containing A and B, and the set containing A, B, C, then this will also generate the same filter F. If we consider, uh, even if we consider A2, which contains singleton B, then we get 
the filter F because uh, this F contains all supersets of members, uh, all supersets of singleton B. And so we can say that um, uh, this uh, collection A2 also generates F. And similarly, if we consider the collection A3 containing double turn AB and double turn BC, then it will also generate the same filter F. So subbase need not be unique. Now the second theorem states that let F be a filter on a non-empty set X and let A be a subset of X. Then there exists a filter F dash finer than F containing A if and only if A intersects every member of F. That is A intersection F is non-empty for every F in F. Let us prove this theorem. Let A intersection F is non-empty for every F in F. Then we have to show that there exists a filter F dash finer than F containing A. Let A be the collection of sets containing A intersection F where F belongs to filter F. Then clearly no member of A is empty because A intersection F is non-empty for every F in F. Then first we show that A has the finite intersection property. So we have to show that um, intersection of finite number of members of A is non-empty. So we consider a finite subfamily of A, say the set containing A intersection Fi, I varies from 1 to N and where Fi belongs to F, filter F. Then as intersection of Fi, I varies from 1 to N belongs to F. Why? Because F is a filter. So F contains finite intersection of its members and so this intersection belongs to F. And A intersection F is non-empty for every F belongs to F. So intersection of members of this family that is intersection of A intersection Fi I varies from 1 to N is nothing but A intersection of intersection of Fi I varies from 1 to N is non-empty. Here A is non-empty and this intersection is also non-empty. So intersection of this family, this finite subfamily of A is non-empty. And so we can say that A has the finite intersection property. So by first theorem, we can say that there exists a filter F dash on X containing A. Next, we have to show that this F dash is finer than F. That means we have to show that F is contained in F dash. So we take a member F of F, filter F. Then A intersection F is a member of A. By definition of A, A intersection F belongs to A for F belongs to F. So A intersection F belongs to A and since F is a filter containing A, so A intersection F belongs to F dash. As A intersection F is contained in F and F dash is a filter, so it contains supersets of all of its members and so F belongs to F dash. F is any member of filter F and we have shown that F belongs to F dash also. So the filter F is contained in F dash. Next we have to show that filter F dash contains A. As A intersection F belongs to F dash and A intersection F is contained in A. So A belongs to F dash as F dash is a filter, it contains supersets of its members. So A belongs to F dash. Hence, F dash is a filter on X, which is finer than F, 
and f dash contains a. Conversely, let f dash be a filter on f such that a belongs to f dash. Then we have to show that a intersects every member of filter f. So take an arbitrary member f of filter f. Since f dash is finer than filter f, so f also belongs to f dash. As a belongs to f dash, f belongs to f dash, and since f is f dash is a filter, so intersection of a and f also belongs to f dash. As we know that phi doesn't belong to f dash, so a intersection f is non-empty. As f and is an arbitrary member of filter f, so a intersection f is non-empty for every f in filter f. Now we discuss a problem. Let x be a non-empty set and let f be a filter on x. Let a is a subset of x such that a doesn't belong to filter f. Then we have to show that complement of a meets every member of f that is complement of a intersects every member of f hence we have to show that there exists a filter f dash finer than f not containing set a let us solve this problem uh, we have to show that complement of a intersection f is non empty for every f in f so take an arbitrary member f of filter f if possible let complement of a intersection f is empty then f is contained in a as f is a filter f belongs to f and a is a superset of f so by definition of filter a also belongs to f as it is given in the problem that a doesn't belong to filter f so we arrive at a contradiction thus our assumption is wrong we have assumed that complement of a doesn't contain any element of um, a member f of filter f hence for every member f of filter f complement of a intersection f is non empty we know that and actually from the theorem we have just proved that if a intersection f is non empty for each f in filter f then there exists a filter f dash finer than f containing a so there exists a filter f dash finer than f containing complement of a because here complement of a intersects every member of f so it follows that complement of a belongs to filter f dash but then a doesn't belong to f dash because if we assume that complement of a and a are members of f dash then their intersection will be a member of f dash that is phi belongs to f dash which is not possible so a doesn't belong to f dash hence there exists a filter f dash finer than f not containing set a thank you